Hi, my name is Kristen Lillamo, and I am married with five kids from age 13 to four. We need to cook uh, gluten and dairy-free at home because of food allergies. We wanted that creamy pasta dish. You know, like in the fall when you get all that pumpkin, I'm like, what can we do with all this? It had that texture that I was looking for with the mac and cheese and the color. And so I just had to figure out how can we make it taste good and not just like pumpkin. <laughs> Today we're going to make creamy golden noodles. These are the utensils that I am going to be using. For convenience purposes, we're going to use the hot plate here. Otherwise, at home, I use the stove. We use this pot for our noodles. I like to use the same pot so that we have less dishes and more time to eat, enjoy our food, and have time as a family. Here's our cutting board with the chef's knife that we'll use to cut up our onions and garlic. Um, I've got teaspoons and tablespoons here that we can measure with. Our can opener that's going to open our pumpkin to create our sauce. And we finally have our serving spoon which we'll also use to stir. We're starting out with gluten-free macaroni. And we have some pre-cooked chicken, that's an add-in. We have fresh broccoli as leftovers. And then we have our pumpkin. Uh, we're gonna cut up an onion and fresh garlic cloves. A little bit of vegetable oil, salt and pepper to taste, and ground turmeric. Next I'm going to peel and chop the onion and garlic to saute. Okay, now we're going to heat up the pan to medium to medium high heat and I'm going to saute onions and garlic but first, we're going to add some vegetable oil, or you can use butter. And we're also gonna grab the broccoli, because it takes a little bit longer for broccoli to cook than the onions and garlic. If you don't have broccoli, you can go in your fridge and use any of the vegetables that you need to use up. Otherwise, you can just go in the cupboard and use your canned or frozen vegetables. A few of our favorites are the peas and carrots and also corn. Now I'm gonna add in our pre-cooked leftover chicken and sometimes I like to throw in some bacon to add that extra yummy flavor. You can use any kind of protein if you want. Um, canned tuna, canned chicken, uh, you could even do pre-cooked beans. Now that we've added the pumpkin, we're gonna add some liquid to achieve a creamy texture. And since we're a non-dairy family, I either will do rice milk or uh, chicken broth, but if you can have dairy, milk would taste the best. All right, we're gonna add some salt and pepper to taste. I like to put it in something, whether it's my hand or a spoon to just make sure I'm not putting too much in. Same thing with the pepper. And then this last ingredient is optional, it's the turmeric. Just adds good health benefits. If it has the creamy consistency that you want, then we can add the noodles. 